child crawling on your knees towards him making mama so proud but your voice is too loud we like to watch you laughing picking insects off the plants no time to think of consequences Control yourself Take only what you need from it A family of trees wanted To be haunted Control yourself Take only what you need from it a family of trees wanted to be haunted. Hey, Drew James here from Learn Guitar in London. And here we go with another easy, 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 easy guitar lesson. Um, this one, if you don't want to do that intro that I played, um, it's only four chords and uh, one rhythm pattern. And for all the parts where they're singing, that's everything that I just did there, more or less times two, um, that's it. That's all you're going to need. Um, that, that is the whole song. There is an instrumental midsection in the song, um, but I wanted once again to make it beginner friendly for you guys that have just got a few chords together um, and you're looking to change them and have a rhythm pattern and have a cool song. Now, on top of that, with that intro, also that is pretty beginner friendly as well. I mean, there's only one bit in it that you might have to bit of, do a bit of work on if you've been learning for only a little while. Um, but so then you've got a really cool like instrumental guitar going into strumming. And, um, you know, you might be a singer, you might not, I don't know. But uh, if you are a singer, this is a really cool one to sort of play along. So I'm going to show you the whole lot. And once again, this lesson has free tab to it. So all you have to do is um, there's a link in the video description or there's a link in the video itself uh, which says um, student area access uh, all you gotta do is click on that link and then fill out the web form it's completely free it just takes a name and an email address and then you'll get given a password which will get you through to the student area and then just click on the tabs link and you'll see all of the tabs on there they're in alphabetical order so search for k and look for kids by mgmt uh, so let's have a look at how to play it. Don't think this one's going to take long. Let's do that now. Okay, so this tutorial is going to be in um, two parts. You've got that um, finger style intro, which honestly, even if you're a beginner, please have a go at this because I'm, I'm certain it's doable and I know you're going to really enjoy it. And then the other part of it is strumming this simple chord sequence. Okay, uh, so I'm going to teach it to you in the linear order, I will teach you the intro first uh, and then we'll get into the strumming. So um, if you're a complete beginner to trying finger style guitar then you need to know that the thumb plays just the top three strings on the guitar. The index finger plays the uh, fourth string down called the G string, the middle finger plays the fifth string down called the B and the ring finger plays the sixth string down called the E. So if you were to strum pick all six strings down going down towards the floor, you'd be going thumb, 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 index, middle, ring. So please make sure you know how to do that. Okay, so the beginning of this song, we're pinching thumb on the thickest string and index, and it's zeros, just like that. Okay. Then hold down the second fret on the fourth string down called the G string. If you don't know the names of the strings, Eddie, eight, dynamite, goodbye, Eddie, E, A, D, G, B, E. So we're pinching, thumb and index, hold down second frets, and play that by itself, obviously on the index finger. Obviously for those who were listening at the beginning. <laughs> then thumb and middle, doing an open string pinch, told you it was easy. So we've got... One thing I just should have mentioned at the beginning, uh, to make this in the same tuning as the recording, you should need to put a capo on the second fret. I'll include that in the video description as well. 
Then, third fret on the B string. Play that with the middle finger. So we've got... Then move that ring finger up to the third fret on the A string. Put your thumb there on the A string. Ring finger is going to get ready to come into action to play the bottom string. And you're going to pinch, pull those two strings together at the same time. Then index finger is going to play the second fret on the thinner string. Preferably whilst holding this down, although you don't have to, but it does sound better if you do. Then, pinching again, three zeros. So going back to this. So it's... Then moving the ring down to the G, uh, B string, where it was before actually. Um, and we're pinching there, thumb on the G and middle finger. Okay, I'll do that again. So let's put together that, those first two bars really slowly. After me, three, four. I find it easier to use your little finger on the third fret on the thin B string for that last bit at the end. Because you're using the ring, you might find it easy to bring your little finger underneath, but you can just move if needs be. Okay, now, third fret on the thickest string with the ring finger, pinching thumb on, on that string, and index and middle playing the D and G string. And then thumb on the thickest, thumb on the thickest. We do that three times. Three, three, three. Then finally, last part, index finger, second fret on the G string, thumb on the D string, and index. So we're making a, a D power chord. And then thumb playing the D string three times by itself. So we're pinching those two. Okay, so let's do those last two bars. So it's... Nice and simple, right? Repeat. We then go round in a circle. Oops, you do it better than that. <laughs> so I'm just going to do a bit of counting for you. One, two, three, four... One, this is one and two, one and two. That's important there. One, one, two and actually. One, two and three. Okay, so there you go, there's your intro. I hope you have fun with that. Sounds really awesome. It's, it's a simplified version of the melody that's played at the beginning of the song. Certainly couldn't leave that out though. Now, into the strumming itself. So this is really, really simple. It just uses four chords. Uh, as this is a beginner lesson, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to play the chords and how to change between them and what fingers to use on this hand. <laughs> that hand. Uh, so you're going to make an E minor to start with. Now, for an E minor, put your middle finger on the second fret on the A string and your ring finger on the second fret also on the D string, okay? Pushing forward, nice big gap between your fingers, don't collapse your hands, thumb round the back. There should be a nice sort of arch here where you can at least fit a finger through so you're not touching strings you shouldn't be. Strum all six strings, okay? That then changes to a C chord. Now, with your C chord, your index finger is gonna get ready for action while you're making the E minor. Don't stick it out or point it towards you. Get it ready, get it ready close to the fretboard. Put that index finger on the first fret on the B string, right there. Lift up the ring from the E minor, move the middles to replace it. So you just did this, you move this down. Then, pointing your fingers diagonally towards your body, 
or towards your head actually, put the ring finger on the third fret on the A string at the same time. Press down nice and hard, once again bridging over. Notice my thumb's not hanging over the top, I'm not gripping with my palm. Strum, bottom five. So here's E minor, here's the change, index is ready, middle finger down, ring. A lot of my students think of this as a diagonal line, I quite like that idea. Then G. I'm going to show G to you this way this time. No, I'm not. I'm going to show it to you this way. I've got two ways of showing G to people, um, and there's a reason for that. This G, which I'm about to show you, is a little more challenging if you're a beginner, but it's much better for strengthening your weaker fingers when you start out. I believe if you start strengthening them early on, then later on in the game, because if you committed to learning guitar, you're going to be playing hopefully for the rest of your life, these fingers... Um, will develop earlier because uh, these fingers always feel strong the index and middle but the ring and pinky are always the ones that feel weak so by learning a common chord like G this way um, it's going to keep cropping up therefore strengthening your fingers so I want you to try this even if this is difficult put your middle finger so from the C move your middle finger up to the A string on the second fret ring finger on the third fret on the thickest string and pinky tucked underneath doesn't matter if it's pointing towards an angle towards um, the right hand side on the third fret on the thinnest string and strum all six strings for this okay so there's your C the other reason is you go C to G a lot and this is a lot easier than going like that okay so C here's the G and then we've got one final chord I'm afraid there's no shortcuts on this you just got to lay it down uh, notice index finger is ready for action, not sticking out here. So we're going to go to a D, put your index finger on the second fret on the G string, middle finger on the second fret on the E string, and ring finger on the third fret on the B. And for that one, strum the bottom four strings. So let's go through those. You've got E minor, all six with the strumming, C, bottom five with the strumming, G, move the middle and ring up, pinky down, all six and D, bottom four. Okay, so let's try and do that with some rhythm guitar now. So the rhythm guitar is this. One, two, and three, and four, and down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Now what you can do is pretend like you're holding a plectrum, like I'm doing here, and when you do a down, it's on your index finger now, and when you do an up, it's on the flat of your index finger. And try this rhythm. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Change chord. Now if you feel yourself stopping your rhythm hands, because the chord isn't ready, that's fine, but spend some time practicing keeping the rhythm going. This will force your left hand into faster decisions and ultimately make you more ambidextrous, which is a big part of being a guitarist. So just keep strumming. Even if the chord is a total dog's dinner, keep the beat going and don't stop. Okay, and that basically is the only chord progression you need for the whole song. It works for the verse. You would child crawling on your knees towards him and the chorus control yourself take only what you need from him a family of trees wanting to be haunted you just do that progression all the way around and with a capo on the second fret it will get you through the whole tune um, Aside from that little instrumental part, but I wanted to keep this a nice, simple beginner's lesson. Thank you so much for watching this lesson. It was brought to you by brightonguitars.co.uk. If you haven't done so already, then join the student area. Then you can get free tab. I've included a link in the video description uh, um, below, and there's a link it above. So you can click on either, that will take you there. Uh, once you've done that, you'll get given a password by your email, and then all you need to do is sign into the student area, click on tabs, and look for kids. It's alphabetized, so you'll be able to find it. Uh, what else do you need to know? I upload two new lessons every week. So if this is your bag, if you like finger style, if you like strum along, sing along, um, acoustic, 
that sort of thing, then you'll be in great company over at the website, learnguitarinlondon.com. There's over 200 free lessons there. And also here at the YouTube channel, I upload two new lessons every week. So it would be awesome to have you around for some more lessons. Keep on playing. Have a great day. Thank you.